Yo, what's up guys? Buzzy Beth here. Today, let's learn how to create an area where if you are in a certain area, you'll be automatically equip a tool. And if you step out of that part, then you will no longer be equipping the tool. It'll be automatically removed or destroyed from your backpack. So this is really useful for like PvP games and such. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I move on, I just want to give a huge thanks to our, one of our lead creators, incredible team, Aiden, for helping me with this script and just, you know, being a huge, literally clutch for this video. So incredible team, Aiden, if you're watching this, shout out to you, man. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and add a folder inside of our workspace. And I'm going to rename this to Arena. Now, it just depends on how many arenas you would like. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and create two arenas. So I'm going to go ahead and add a subfolder inside of the arena folder and name it A1 and the other arena to A2. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and spawn in a part. We're going to spawn in this part. So this part is going to be the A2 arena. I'm going to recolor it to red. I'm going to create a duplicate of this and then change it to blue. Okay, so once we have that, what we want to do is actually go ahead and spawn in a part. And this is going to be the part where if our player touches it, then they will equip the weapon. Perfect. And make sure you guys untick can collide because we want our players to collide through this part. Set the transparency of it to one. And let's go ahead and duplicate that. Oh, sorry, let's go ahead and rename that to hitbox. Duplicate that and put it over the blue part. Perfect. So we have our two arenas all set, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and drag the blue part to arena one to A1 and the red to A2. Sweet. And we have our arenas all set and ready to go. So inside of the individual folders, what we want to do is add an object value. Now, depending on how many tools you want the player to you know, have access to is how many object values you are going to add. So for the first arena, I only want them to have access to one tool and in A2, they get two tools. So I have my tools inside of server storage. So in the A1 arena, they have access to the honey stick. So I'm going to go ahead and set the value to that. And then for the A2, they have access to the blaster and the honey stick. So you guys saw how I set the value there like that. Perfect. Okay, so now that we are done with that, what we want to do is add a script inside of server script service. Okay, so this script is pretty long. So for our first function, it's going to go ahead and loop through all the children of the selected arena. Yeah, so it's going to check to see the object value and see what kinds of tools are in the arena. And then it's going to add the tool to a list. And then for our second function, it's going to go ahead and equip the tool based off of the object value that we set earlier. So it checks if the player doesn't have the tool already, it's going to go ahead and make sure it'll clone that tool inside of the player's backpack. Now for our next function, the unequip tools function. So it's going to go ahead and check to see if the player does have the tool in their backpack with the same name, it's going to go ahead and delete the tool out of their backpack. And if it's also going to check to see if a player has the tool equipped, it's also going to go ahead and destroy it. All right, now for our last function, it's going to go ahead and be a touched function, where if a player touches either, you know, either the red or blue zones, if it's a humanoid root part that is touching the part, then the player is going to either uh, equip the tool or unequip the tool. I'm going to do a task.wait to avoid that lag in between of equipping and unequipping the tool. But yeah, so we have a touch ended event. So if the player is no longer touching the part, the hitbox part, then the tool is going to be unequipped from our player or deleted from our player. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out. Head over to our red part and automatically I have my honey stick and the blaster. Cool. And at the moment I leave the arena, it deletes it off my character. Same for the blue part. Pretty cool. 
Full scripts and models will be posted on our website link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.